All right, so today it is um, June 1st, and there are two loads from the Salt Lake Market coming back to Stockton. Wow. So I don't think it's necessarily the holiday weekend. I'm kind of feeling like maybe the freight market there is done dried up. So that's kind of a it's kind of a bummer. Um, there's a lot of loads going there, but since there's not really anything coming back, these rates are kind of low. I don't know. We'll see what next week has for us, but um, maybe we'll uh, be looking at trying a different market. <laughs> Cooking some breakfast here in the old microwave. Um, we're here at the shipper. They haven't opened up yet. They said they open at 8. It's like 7.30, 7.40. Um, we're going to get this unloaded. And uh, keep going to get our three other stops off. Um, it was a nice night. 50 something degrees, wasn't too cold, wasn't too hot, perfect sleeping weather. Got some all right rest, and somehow I got my phone service back. I don't know what the hell's going on last night. But, uh, we're gonna eat some breakfast here, and then we'll go around, walk around fancy. We don't really have to go far, just <laughs> right over that fence from where we're parked. So. Really, we could untie this stuff right now and probably be all right, but uh, we'll just do it when we get in there. All right, I'll have some breakfast and we'll catch you guys here when we start unloading. Convenient. Let's go throw away our garbage. What do you guys say we go get unloaded? Truck's like, ooh, ah, oh, nice. All right, let's go take a lot right to Burling, Idaho, and kick off this back bundle here. And we got two more after that. Luckily they're gonna get off at the next stop though.
Stop number two. I guess they're gonna unload us in the street. And just those two top bundles and off we go to Idaho Falls. Get the rest of this kicked off. That's going next. There's one, not just the other. Good thing he's got a big old forklift. He can get all three bundles at a time. Well, stop number three, guys. Coming right off. One more, one more, 20 minutes away. Number four, straight ahead, but they want to unload it here for some reason. We're empty. Let's work our way south to Plymouth, Utah, where we're gonna reload and uh, maybe we'll get loaded yet today. I don't know, we'll see. Well, we got our load information for picking up. Have to stop here at this rest area though to go to the bathroom. And not because I have to take a bath. I don't know why they call them bathrooms. Especially at the rest areas. I, I know, I know, they're restrooms, whatever. Let's thump our tires. But yeah, I'm gonna Call the uh, shipper here and make see if I can make an appointment. See if we can get loaded yet today. That'd be cool. If not, then first thing in the morning, I guess. But I don't. I think we should probably be able to get loaded today. I gotta get new shocks. That right there. Yeah, it's the shock started leaking. I didn't catch it soon enough. I gotta replace those tires eventually anyway, cause they've been on there for a while. See if we can get loaded. Well, no loading today. I guess the load's not ready till tomorrow morning, which is fine. I already kind of figured that. Kind of had a hunch that it's not going to be ready till tomorrow morning. So we got a 7 a.m. appointment to load it, which means we need to go take a nice nap here in Plymouth. 
there's a little truck stop here, so we're gonna park here for the night. And we'll just go get loaded in the morning and make our way west. So, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. No loading today. I guess we're done. We're done for today. We're done working. All we gotta do is just get to the truck stop, which is like 15 miles away, and park it. Parkman party row, large car row, till tomorrow morning. So, we'll pick this back up tomorrow morning. Catch you guys then. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car in a giddy up. Secure the baggy, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car in a giddy up. Secure the baggy.